tuning in, it's the one and only off the bottom is coming to you with another Jurassic video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Netflix Jurassic World Camp Crustaceous Control and Conquer Carnotaurus Toro. Now, in my review of, well, uh, I, I, for, I forgot his name, but in, in the review of the, the Baryonyx, and I guess I should say the, the, the Stegosaurus, that set, I mentioned that when we first saw the different figures we were going to be getting from the new Camp Crustaceous line, some of them had names. The, the three Baryonyxes all had names. And the Carnotaurus also did. What was interesting, though, was Baryonyx, it didn't have a name anywhere on the package, but the Carnotaurus here does, specifically Toro. That leads me to believe that he's kind of the big bad guy in the new series. And that should be kind of fun. I mean, he's a really cool-looking dinosaur, despite the fact that he's got poor little baby hands. In general, it's really cool. For the package, you can see you do have that Camp Crustaceous sort of motif. Got that nice background with what looks like a, a visitor center or something like that. You got the cartoon characters there. You can see uh, Control and Conquer. This is part of the Primal Attack line, which means you can uh, move things around and actually articulate them just by kind of moving parts of them, which is really cool. He does have uh, sounds that are uh, part of the, the gimmick you can kind of see his mouth moving there i don't want to push all the way down because that'll activate the sounds come around to the back of the package and like i said the primal attack feature allows you to uh, rotate his tail giving him the extreme thrashing action it's got the uh, the chomping and the roaring all that fun stuff you got other figures uh, I, I don't think they're part of the camp crustaceous line but you got other dinosaurs there and it does come with a bit of a collector card which is interesting we'll take a look at that here in a bit but uh, for the packaging on this guy that's about it so without further ado let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is and here we have Toro opened up and out of his packaging. And I gotta say, I am absolutely impressed with this. Truthfully, I thought he was just going to be a repaint of this guy. Now, I, I took a look at this uh, some time ago. He's fun. I, always, I, I remember saying that it's very bird-like when you push the button. His neck would move, and then you'd get the chomping thing. There's no lights or sound... Or lights. What, what lights would you put in a dinosaur? There are no sounds in him or anything, but... I thought that this was honestly just the retool. Uh, boy, was I wrong. I'm just going to set him off to the side. I want to comment on this. I thought it was a collector card. I mean, I guess you could kind of say that it is. It's meant to be collected. But you got this with the kids. You got uh, Toro there in the background. You can see you got that nice gash right there, which he does have there, which is really cool. Come around the back, and you see that it's actually a maze. And you get stickers with it which is really cool uh, you can see you got uh bumpy you got a t-rex there i'm guessing that's rexy to be honest because this takes place on uh, isla nublar so uh, i guess that would be rexy right uh you got the uh, stegosaurus looks like blue of course you got toro right there and then you can open this and you can take these stickers and put them on the different areas it, like i said it's like a little maze i, I kind of wish that they did it Let's, uh, let's do this. So you take one of these off. I'm going to take Rexy off here. And you put Rexy right there. Ding, 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 ding. And let's just do that with all of them. We got Bumpy. Bumpy's going to go there. Of course, I'm an adult, so I have to make sure that it looks perfect. Uh, I kind of wish that they did this where you got different stickers with uh, each of the different releases like for example like this one would have come with toro uh so you you kind of have to collect all the dinosaurs to be able to complete the full on um maze here so there's that <coughs> and then let's get steggy on here um so i i feel like that's kind of a missed opportunity to uh encourage them to uh, get kids to buy all of these, but and there we go, Steggy, right there. And then you got the little Jurassic World gates right there. That's kind of cool. I, I I dig that. It's a fun little thing to do with your kids, and then it shows you how to uh, get through it. So that it gives you a cheat code because, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Toro, though, 
absolutely gorgeous. The paint detail on here is phenomenal. I love the darker color with the much darker color. I think that the blend is really very, very nice. You can see you got a little bit lighter of a paint detail in the bottom. I feel like they're getting better with the paint applications, at least in terms of making them look more realistic, I guess. And, and that, I know that, that that sounds really stupid to say because how do we know what color they were, right? But absolutely fantastic. I like that they got the nails painted, great detail in the mouth. Uh, one thing that I will say is that when you look at this, it, it looks like he's got a scar there on his nose. Um, maybe it's supposed to be blood. Maybe that's a scene from the movie. I, I, it's hard to tell. And that's what that kind of looks like. It looks like it's just put on there. There's no sculpted in scar or cut or anything. I feel like they could have done that. But hey, you could probably just take an X-Acto knife and just gouge that in there and get it pretty decently. Um, overall, I mean, I really, really like this guy. The Carnotaurus is basically just a mouth on legs even more so than a, a, a t-rex because <laughs> this guy's little arms here are ridiculously gimpy i mean you can't really do anything with that i do wish there was a little bit more paint detail on here but these are very soft i was very surprised to see it uh, the horns here are a little bit softer and then these are definitely very soft when you compare it to the previous carnotaurus i mean the uh, the hands here or arms here were a lot uh, more rigid but you can see there is a big difference here in, in terms of the size of them when you when you get them lined up next to each other you can see a big big difference uh with how these guys look uh i mean the, the mouths are definitely i mean a little bit better I, I like the mouths that are closed i don't like them when they're always open but you can see that there is a big difference in terms of the head detail. I, I really like it. I like the color on this, too. It, it, it works nicely. Maybe a little bit too white at the underbelly. But him, he just had like an articulated tail. And then this. It moved his neck and his mouth opened and would snap shut. Which, you know, I thought was fine. It, it worked pretty good. This guy, though, has that whole gimmick with the tail. So as you rotate his tail, you can see that his head also rotates which is really nice you can also bend it up and down you can see when it goes down it just kind of like does that chicken thing uh, it goes back a little bit but you can also incorporate that with the uh, legs and you can see that as you move it around when you do that you get roaring sounds which is nice uh, the articulation is all kind of like built in there i mean it, it's all independent uh and you can kind of articulate it how you you want so you can do that if, if you really so desire you also have a button right on his tail that button gets more sounds and, and i i don't know i mean i guess that makes it sound like he's chewing on things more more than anything but uh i just feel like when you're closing your mouth you shouldn't be making as much sound but That's it. Uh, but gorgeous detail throughout the entire thing. Nice yellow eyes. You can see you got some yellowish teeth. Gorgeous detail on the inside with the tongue and that little tendon thing. I, I always mention the little tendon because I think that that's cool. But again, gorgeous detail on it. Uh, now, for his articulation, a lot of it is tied into the gimmick. So you can't, and as you see, you rotate the tail or the head and the tail moves. So you can't really pose them all that much. Uh, that one, you really couldn't either. So it's not that big of a difference. But... Uh, it's worth noting uh, that you're going to basically just display them like that. You can move these little arms around. They're on pin hinge joints. So you can rotate them and then hinge them out a little bit. But again, what are you going to do with those little gimpy things? And then the legs, uh, the ankles can rotate. That's kind of about it. You can get him more upright or you can angle him down kind of position them like that so you got a couple different options they are like i said still independently articulated so you can have him sit there with his leg kicking up if you, if you really want to so um they put some articulation in there but like i said it's tied into the gimmick i don't mind it so much because the gimmick is fun uh i like it i like that you can you know really kind of articulate it and then you got the thumb set or the tail section here so you can you know, really bring this guy to life uh, through some, like, 
I, I, puppetry, I guess, and, and play with them. I mean, that is a, a really fun feature to do. Now, let's see, where's, yeah, here we go. Here's Darius, let's bring him in. So you can set him there, and uh, let's see if I can get uh, Toro to eat him. So you got him, you get, ah, oh, no, no, that didn't work all that well. So let's try it again, you gotta try it because I'm morbid, so you're gonna go, I'm just. This, this is what you get when you get a reviewer that loves dinosaurs playing with toys. That's, <laughs> I mean, who, who doesn't wanna do this? <laughs> so, a lot of fun with him. Really very impressed with how he turned out. Uh, like I said, I originally thought he was just going to be a repaint, um, not even so much a retool. I'm super, super thrilled that he's not just that. It really blew me away. So really very excited to uh, pick him up. I didn't realize that he was different until I got home and pulled out that old Carnotaurus. So Absolutely. If you are a fan of dinosaurs, if you're a fan of Jurassic World, if you're a fan of Camp Crustaceous, which comes out in a month, I would absolutely pick this guy up. Uh, in, in terms of a character, because they gave him a name, and I don't know. I haven't seen the series. Uh, Netflix has not sent it to me. Uh, hey, Netflix, send me this one as well, like you did with the Transformer one. That'd be cool. So, I mean, I don't know if he's the big bad guy in it. Uh, it, it would be cool. Because all the bad guys are usually like, you know, the Spinosaurus or the T-Rex. It'd be, or Raptors even. It'd be cool to get another large carnivore as a bad guy. That'd be fun. So maybe because of that, you know, that's why they gave him a name. And maybe he'll appeal to more people. I don't know. We'll find out, like I said, in a month. But uh, these Cam Crustaceous figures, I believe, exclusively here in North America are uh, at Target stores. I believe internationally, like uh, Canada and stuff, you may be able to find them at Walmart. Either way, if you're looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. He is available now, and every single time that I've gone into a Target, there are plenty of these. So pick him up. He's definitely worth adding to your collection. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would do one very simple thing for me. It goes a long way towards helping me out, and that's just to hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons who, through their continued support, now more than ever help to make reviews like this possible. And if you'd like information on how you can help support my channel by becoming a patron, feel free to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash optobotamus. And as always, remember that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.